In today's class, casting class instruction, what we're going to look at is, of course, first of all, the position of the identity of the client. And the client is here in a very meditative, you can imagine this as a person who's sort of meditative, lying down, thinking about things, ruminating over things. And we're told to look at some things that happened uh, in the past, okay? It's, you still keep dredging it up into the present. And that's not okay because even though this thing really did happen, this is a negative parental influence. And they might have had some mental illness, a personality disorder, and you were raised by this person. It really happened to you. But remember, this client is not the equal. It's just something that happened. So it's important for this client to put that in the past. And here's the head, here's the tail. This is where you're supposed to be thinking, the client's supposed to be thinking about moving on. And of course, we've got this journey here. Journey on to good things. Of course, not just, um, this is a smaller, younger person, someone who's not as wise, someone who's coming up. You want to mentor that person and you want to be the best and have the best core health that you can. What we have fueling this journey is right here, and this is ancestral and also like a grandparental energy here. So there's some beautiful stuff in your past. It could be actually DNA. You know, a lot of our DNA has holds certain energies, and this it could be the energy of a, a tribe that loved to travel, okay, loved to explore and, and seek out new lands. And that's, of course, saying I have a lot of that. Me, too. And then this is an ancestral or grandparental type advice or counsel that you could lean on, um, not just in the past, but also if you seek this person out, then you could get some advice from them. So what's on the side here? The, all of this is stuff that's in this person's creative mind, okay? Okay. And wow, their mind's really, really busy. They have a lot going on here. So it's important for them to realize that they have a lot going on. They have a very active brain, but not to dwell too much on the past so that they will be able to move on for the future. Today is the first day of the rest of their life. That That's exactly what the case is here. This is the first day of the rest of their life. So they have an opportunity now to remember that they are not their past. They learned from it, but now they can move on and they can not identify themselves with an aberrant personality. Let that person go in the past. You know, you still care about these people, but if they have a personality disorder or something like that. You just have to accept them for what they are and then move on, go your own way. You don't have to be an enabler. And then lean on the wise ones in your life so that you can move ahead. That's what the message would be today. So thank you so much for watching the casting class and be sure to subscribe and like the video. Um, I just really love throwing the bones and I, I love sharing how I come up with these solutions and storylines. All these connections are really important. After you have 20 years of experience, you and even less, if you have 10 years of experience, you're going to see stories and psychological uh, stories pop out here at, that can give the client some really good advice and life lessons. Thank you so much. Have a great day. If you would like to learn even more fully how to throw the bones, I've written this book called Throwing the Bones, an instructional book with a final focus on the ethics of divination.